All right, everybody. B Link Light Home Launcher is fixed. Woohoo! Yeah, I'm so excited. It's all fixed. Yeah, let me show you. But wait a second. Who's gonna clean up this shit? All right, everybody, exciting news. The Light Home Launcher weather and location is finally fixed and there's bonuses, so watch the video. So let me tell you, I tried it on Android 6 and Android 7, and I even tried it on a non-B-Link device and it all works. So the GT1 Ultimate, this is the 7, works. This is the B-Link GT1. This is just the standard, not the ultimate. This is six works. This is the Mini MX32. This is Android 6, works. The B-Link C works, but the settings is a little different. Let me explain real quick if everybody can follow this. Normally, in the Android 6, the B-Link C is Android 6. You go to the settings, which are, which are the two gear icon app, and it goes to the black screen settings. And then from the black screen, there is a more settings to the white screen settings. Well, the B-Link C doesn't have the black screen settings. Once you hit the two gear icon, it goes to the white settings page. So with this new light home, they added the black, but there's no more settings. So you just have to create a favorites in settings to get to the white screen settings, if all that makes sense. I know it's a little confusing. I'll see if I can explain it when we get to the monitor. And then I got the Sunveil here. This is the T95K Pro. Um, I installed it as an APK. I did not swap the Light Home dot APK. I just installed the Light Home APK. This is six. It installed. It works. All right. Let's quit talking. And let's get to the monitor. All right. So here we are on my Light Home launcher. Forget the background. Don't worry about it. Let me show you. The original problem that everybody's having if you're not following. You see the circle that keeps rotating? Well, that's location. So if you click on that and you would type in your location, like I'm going to type Torrance. For me, I'm in Torrance, California, and I say OK, and nothing happens. It's still spinning. Well, you have to first go to the Google Play Store and get Chrome. ES File Explorer, the free version, and any launcher, so you need to change the Light Home. Once you get those three, now you for, don't forget this is Android 7, but in both 6 and 7, you need to turn off your location. So you have to go into Settings, and in 7 you go to Droid Settings, More Settings, and Find Location. Same thing with 6. You have to just find your location. There is my location. And as you can see, it's turned off. Now, once that's taken care of, make sure you change launchers. Okay, so I'm going to go to Square, Home. And if you clear all, it might give you a pop-up. Okay, so you have to go into Droid Settings, More Settings. You have to make that launcher active when you clear everything. Let's see. And then we're going to settings, home, and we're going to change it to square home. Let's see if that changes it. There we go. Let me double check if I hit the home button. All right. <clears throat> so now we're going to open ES File Explorer and I'm not going to get that detail because I've done this many times. Watch my other video. It's a rinse and repeat 
kind of thing. So what you're going to do is you're going to, here's my light home that works, and I'll show you that in a second. So I'm going to copy that. Now I'm going to find the light home location, which is, once again, you can look at my other videos under System, App, and Light Home. Now I'm going to rename this. It's going to say old. Now I'm going to paste the new light home. I'm going to go into properties and change the properties. And make sure you have to have your box has to be rooted for all this to work. Say OK. back and we're just going to cut and basically paste it and move it over here and you can always double check and it's all by itself all right now we're going to go home now once you do that you need to reboot your system now I just hit the power button if you get a message saying Light Home has stopped working, just unplug it. But for me, I can reboot because I've done this, I've tested this, but in every box I've had, I had to unplug it because Light Home said it stopped working. Don't worry about the message. Unplug it and then plug the power in and let's get back to the video after I reboot. All right, sorry about that, I had some internet problems. So we're gonna to go to the Google Play Store and I'm going to try Nova again. And I like to do this so I can have a list of launchers and test the new launcher, so let's Get this going here and fast forward through it. All right, so it's installed. So when I hit the home button, I'm gonna get a option. So I'm gonna pick light home and there we go. Let me change the background because this is driving me up this wall with this background. I like this blue one. All right. There's the new background. Now let's see if the weather and the location works. So I'm going to pick the area. I'm going to put in Torrance. There's Torrance. I'm going to say OK. Voila, guys, there you go. Torrance, weather, and it's 72, beautiful day. Now, let me show you the exciting stuff also. I was working over at Freak Tab with Ahab85. Uh, Do I to get that right? I can go check that. I don't want to misquote that person. Okay, it was my mistake. Ahawk85, A-H-A-C-85 over at Freak Tab. I'll leave a description. I'll leave a link in the description. And so I'd like to sh continue on and show you the exciting new stuff that I asked him to do for me. And he also did some stuff himself. So the folder here normally would be B-Link or whatever box you have explore but now look what happens when you pick it bam it goes to the es file explorer very very exciting news now i'm going to say clear all let me say just once i can just probably say always at this point because i know it's going to work so let me just say always let me show you something else the internet explorer which, personally, I liked the original B-Links Internet Explorer, but now he has changed it to Chrome. 
So there is the Chrome Explorer. So this is very, very exciting news because the real estate on these icons is, is really great. So now this is ES File Explorer on the folder. This is Chrome. And of course, Kodi works. There you go. All right, now it's bonus time. Yes, guys, you're seeing it right. Cody has been replaced with a YouTube button. Oh my God, so exciting. If you're not a Cody fan or you don't use Cody that much or whatever and you use YouTube a lot, like myself, maybe this button needed to change to YouTube, which I did. And it works. Let me show you. You pick YouTube. Bam! Opens up right away. Not only that, is the folder button also opens ES File Explorer. Very, very exciting. And of course, the Internet's Chrome, as you can see. Well, I'm going to leave a download for all of this, which is so exciting to me, but let me show you the folder. Okay, you're going to get the launcher's download directory, and let me show you what it is. The first one is the B-Link Light Home with the Kodi button and the free ES File Explorer. The second one is the B-Link Light Home with YouTube button instead of Kodi with the free ES File Explorer. Now, the third one over is the Light Home with the Kodi button, but it's ES File Explorer Pro. So that means it's the paid ES File Explorer. So we have two versions here. We have the free and the pro, but this third one over is for the pro. Now, also, we have the Light Home with the YouTube TV, which I don't have, that's why I didn't show you. But if you want YouTube TV, you can have that with the ES File, free ES File Explorer. Excuse me, the free Explorer. I'm going to try that again. Hard to say. The free ES File Explorer with the YouTube TV. All right, going down, we have the original media center with the working weather and the location so if you like the media center instead of the Kodi or the YouTube the fourth one down all right next one over is the light homes with the non-working weather so the big button used to change in different versions I still have the different versions so if you want that for some reason we got that um, no Cody, working weather. I wouldn't really mess with it because that's basically it's the media center is this one. So I've doubled it up. No big deal. Next one. There is the free ES File Explorer with a different YouTube logo. It's a larger logo. You might like it. You might not. The one that you saw was the second one over. Now, the all the way at the bottom where it says Light Home Small YouTube with the free ES File Explorer, the button that says YouTube, the word YouTube is much smaller. It's a little different logo. You might like that. You might think that the YouTube logo is too big. This is really small. Give it a go. You might like it. Now, this is for the B-Link C. Um, this is only if you have the B-Link C. The big button is an HDMI button. If you don't have the B-Link C, don't worry about it. So those are all the different ones. If you don't, even, if you don't have a B-Link box 
and you want any of these, like let's say you want the YouTube with the free ES File Explorer, you just click on the APK and let it install instead of copying over on top of the Light Home like I usually do. All right, that's very exciting news for me and everybody out there. Well, there you go, guys. It's been a long time coming to have this Light Home fixed. I'd like to thank Ahawk85 over at FreakTab, all my friends at FreakTab. They're great people, wonderful website. Finally got it fixed. I'm excited. I hope you're excited as I'm excited because this has been a long, long journey for me. So, subscribe, hit the like button, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.